Welcome to Droid City. I'm Dishant, and in today's video, we are going to look at how to integrate buttons and images in an Android application and in a simple and easy way. So, let's have a look at the code and how we achieved it. Right here, if we see, there is two buttons present here as a list, and there is an image in here. So, these two things will be integrated directly, and if we click on it, it will provide us a text message just like how you have written in other places so let's have a look at the code how it looks like so right here if you see and there are two things i would like to show you here is the first is the rasa buttons so in the rasa button this is a particular data class which i have created specifically to extract all the buttons data which we have so in here you can see there is title and payload present in here so these two things will be directly captured when the json arrives on an application directly and then if you see right above this this is the buttons and just one more thing i would like to show is it is also nullable so right here if you see it is if it is null it will be directly added as null and not any other values will be provided to it and then if you focus right above it there is image which is also nullable so if it is null it will be directly added as a empty string just like this and if you had a look at the previous video about the integration where we added all the functionalities for integrating the android application directly with rasa if you haven't looked at it you can directly click on the i button above and it will guide you to that particular video and then you can Jump back to this in there i have already specified the nullability for string but i i hadn't provided much more info on it i'll be providing it right now in this particular video so if if you see the format how we are going to send it and how we are receiving the response from a nasa bot is a list of dictionaries so in the dictionaries if you see there is text the text consists of a string and then just like this this is the one particular element and then if we if we send two elements which is the first will be image and the second will be text then it will be like this image i'm writing the short forms you can see the particular image on the left hand side of the screen it will be a url for this particular purpose so the image and if we are sending a text and a button it will look like this so the text will be provided a string and then there are buttons so in the buttons it will be a list of dictionary of whatever buttons you have provided in here and the list goes on like that so this is how it will look like and in every case there is something missing each and every time then not be everything provided in just one particular json itself so that's why we had to add nullability so it doesn't provide any kind of error or crash our application because if you don't provide any kind of nullability here it will try to check if anything is present about the image or buttons then it will crash so yeah personal experience i'm sharing it with you guys so this is how it looks like and then if we have a look at our chat screen where everything has been present so if you go to chat section this particular method there we can see just inside the message item we have added two things the first is image and the second is buttons so right here we are capturing both of them and showing it in our view so let me scroll down to the image item in this particular image item if you focus this is both of them are nullable so that's why we have to add a check that if it is not null and for the image specifically if it is not empty you can definitely add one more uh, similar kind of condition which looks like this where we are checking if it is an m if it is not empty and there's one more way you can um, add it which is right here so in here you can provide and and then directly copy this and paste it right here so this is how it looks like if you want just one if condition but i did it myself i added two of the if condition 
just to increase the line of code for you guys but you can decrease it directly just kidding so i added height as 4 dp right here in the spacer spacer is providing the space in between you can also name it as margin for that particular view but yeah like that and then there is surface so i have used surface in this particular surface there is a image and we can't directly change our image dimensions or clip it in a particular shape yes we can do that we can clip it in a particular shape but i just wanted it to be perfect so i used surface and inside the color i've added primary color if it is outgoing if it is incoming then it will be just like this gray one so you can definitely set this particular color in the colors.kt file which is add which is in the themes directory which is also in the ui directory yes so in the jetway compose it's like that you can definitely check out the courses on code labs which is of google so yeah and then there is shape so inside the shape as we knew there is author chat bubble and there is bot chat bubble so this particular two chat bubbles shapes are provided and in here if you see this is the bot chat bubble where this is pointy and others are rounded in corners for the user it is pointy on the end and other places are rounded so it's like that and if you see there is image so inside the image if you see this this particular method doesn't exist in the regular jetpack compose this particular method is been used via coil so what is coil so this this particular library is been used for showing all the url images or you can also use it for showing the uri images what is a uri image uri is a file path from android applications where let's say from the file explorer you want some kind of image and you want to display it on screen you can use coil or there's also one more library of it which is for video purpose so if you want a th thumbnail to be shown of a video you can definitely show it directly using this particular library but i'll come back to this in the later videos where i'll be showing you how you can support videos and also the carousals yes there's both things i'll be covering how we can support it in the android studio if you already did it you can definitely add them into discord server so everyone will be seeing it and it might be helpful for the community itself i think you might be a star then <laughs> and then there is data inside the data i have added the image which we have this is the url which is provided by rasa chatbot which we have created and which you have also created then there is content scale so content scale i have kept it as crop because i don't want it to be too large or too small when it arrives so i have just kept it to be just like this because it will just crop it to the center so whatever it is other than the, that particular area will be cropped and you can see the center image of it and how this is been decided it is because of the modifier i have provided a hard coded size which is 160 dp you can use some other measurements if you want to but i have kept it as hard coded you can do whatever you want to and then there is content description i would really recommend to add this because it is really understandable while reading the code like what is this image why is this image view like that so whenever you add a particular string here you don't keep it null and this explains why this particular what is the purpose of this particular view and then i have provided a spacer in this particular spacer if you see i've added height as 4 dp so this particular spacer helps to give a little bit space in the other view which is of the time and also if there is another view as buttons so there might be images text buttons all three of them together right here and this this might not look good if you don't provide space in between of them so yeah and then there are buttons so now it's a part where we will understand how the buttons are actually been shown here in there in the show buttons this is a component i made it separately because it is more readable if you create a separate separate component and also you can use it in different place itself so there's buttons list of buttons and also the view model so why i have used view model 
why haven't you initialized in each and every composable methods because there is a particular reason behind it you shouldn't initialize it in each and every methods which are using because um, there is a particular state in there if you just initialize it in a activity just like i have done it if you see right here in the main screen which is directly inside the main activity i have initialized it directly in the argument in argument itself so i don't need it to be initialized it again and again because it will disrupt the state and it won't work itself i have tried it i thought it will work but it didn't work at all so that's why i have added the view model as a parameter i am passing it in each and every composable methods so right here you can see there is time i have already explained how this works this is a simple text view and then there is show buttons so inside the show buttons i am not keeping this particular list as a null label because we already checking it right here if it is null or not so then there is buttons and there is also a view model as i explained it there is lazy row so what is lazy row i'll come back to this later in the further video and there i have kept it to fill the max width so this this whole width will be filled with it there are too many width so this complete screen size the screen width will be filled if there are multiple buttons so if you if you add 10 buttons directly in here i would really like if you could try this and show me the result because i haven't tried it at all i haven't tried adding the 10 buttons and how this will look like because this will be a scrollable and i want to see if this looks really great if it has been scrolled or if it uh, if it will be wrapping it uh, on the bottom here so i would really like you guys to try it and tell me the result send me the screenshots dm me or directly add it in the discord server i would really like to see it and in there you can see there is items so this particular items is similarly like a for loop so in the for loop we have seen it provides a particular index or a particular value if you if you just want a value from a list it's just like that this we have provided a list and this is the value which we are getting out of it for each and every iteration so here this is the button view inside the button view we have on click whenever the button has been clicked there needs to be some kind of functionality to be ran so right here i am sending the image to rasa and in the message i'm providing text as button payload which you already know how uh, a button works so it's better to send a payload if you want to send a title you can definitely send the title itself but i would recommend to send a payload why because if you have added a force intent then it will be the payload which will be sent and not the title and if you are really confident that your nlu will be working quite good you can definitely use the title to send then there is recipient id in the recipient id i'm using the username which you can change it as per your use case of the particular android application so if you are if you are having some kind of android application where it has to be logged in and then you can chat with the chatbot yes you can use that particular username itself and then there is time time is simple and it directly shows you the time of the current uh, date current time <laughs> i don't know what to say for this yeah it shows you current time i can say it like that so this is the current time when uh, this particular chat was happening you don't see the date you can definitely change it as per your need you can uh, use simple date format to format the, the date you want in there so it's like this currently i'm using the time you can use any ways you want and since it's outgoing I'll definitely keep it as true so it's like that and here uh, this is the main section where we are shaping a button so I have added a clip what is a clip and in, it is inside the modifier just to note the clip is it will clip it into a shape so currently the shape is like this a rounded corner which is completely circled so in the rounded corner shape i have added 20 dp you can change it however you want to however you want to design it you can definitely change provide the shape right in here there's also a particular parameter you can pass which is circle shape you can definitely check it out on by yourself and then there is text view so in compose specifically you can definitely add whichever you view you want to add 
uh, if you want a particular icon to be shown right here you can show it let me show you how it will look like so right here if you create a particular button just like this you can add a text this is a text which we already added here but if you want to add a particular icon you can specifically define where you want to align it say let's say i want to align it at this dot so it will be right here and you can uh, define this particular padding which has been happening this this particular space which is right here so you can change the space in between this is just a drawing this is just a rough drawing which i made here so this is how it will look like not just this kind of drawing but yeah this is how it will look looking like so this is how you can provide a particular buttons in chat by compose and so right here if you see i provided a width as a db so just to note why i have provided this particular width in in here just here because if you don't provide that particular width right here so it will sticking the views and width together and it won't look good i have tried it personally suggestion don't try this at home <laughs> and this is how the chat screen will look like and this is how we can integrate images and buttons directly in the android application so if you if you look at this particular section it has each and everything which we wanted in here if you still have any kind of doubts any kind of comments you can definitely add in the comment section below you know how to do it just do it and then if you really like this video you can click on the like button below because it really helps me and youtube algorithm to suggest videos to other people in the youtube community itself and it's just like get help in just like and the thor ragnarok has yeah just like that and you can really help me by clicking on the subscribe button below and turning the notification on you'll get all the notifications of all the new videos that i add in here and also it really motivates me to create more videos for you guys because this is what i like and we'll be covering two things which is the first will be the custom channels in the custom channels i'll be building a custom channel which will support our the standard application right here and also supporting the carousals and video previews just we have thought like and whenever we chat on insta we get a video preview with the text above it yeah just like that this is this is how i was i'm planning it if you already have achieved it you can definitely add in the discord server or dm me it will really help the community to to build this kind of view eyes faster enough so it will help me till then if you haven't checked out android integration with rasa you can check it out on your right hand side the video you can click on it or if you want to know more about how i built the this particular gui you can click on the left video right opposite to me just right there and till then see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye